Hi everyone, this is Yvette. Welcome back to my art studio. Today we're going to be working this uh, painting acrylic. It's a red poppy flower. And if you're enjoying my video so far, don't forget to like it and as well as to subscribe to my channel. And there is a little bell that you can hit to get a new notifications whatever I am doing, a stream live video or posting a new tutorial. This is just a few ways to support my channel and to help me to serve even more to you all. Thank you so much for coming and let's start. So let me just share my palette and share this extra um, camera that I have because I want you guys to be able to see more like close up when I'm doing the strokes and the picture. So I'm going to move this original and I'm going to grab my white empty canvas. Okay, so what I'm going to be doing first is I'm going to be working my background. And if you're here, I would love to hear from you just to say, hi, Yvette, I am here. Good to see you. Just to know that I am not alone, okay? So the brushes, that I'm going to be using today for the background. I'm going to be using my two inches. Then I have my mop. Then I have a flat one. Its number is three quarters. Then I have my two filbers, number eight and number four. Then I have this small flat. Uh, I have a small also number three, round three my liner and my the last one is going to be my fan brush for the texture of the grass okay so let's start with the color palette so for the background i'm going to be using my naples yellow my cobalt blue the pale blue and some white and for the button i'm going to be using this light bright gray and I have an extra green that is going to be my fallow green okay so the first part of the background is the sky and I'm going to be a uh, print some of my paintings here hi Heather good to see you here hi Jill thank you for coming girls so I'm going to start adding first my white To be able to see this okay first is my white I almost done with this white a beautiful titanium white I want to just squeeze everything I can as much as I can this is a really good brand Winsor & Newton okay then I'm going to put aside my white <laughs> you are start fighting each other <laughs> fine then I'm going to add some of my maple's yellow mm -hmm. have a little explosion then I want to have my cobalt blue you can tell how much I love this cobalt blue because I am also almost finishing If you can share this uh, video into the painting group and patrons, that will be awesome. Thank you so much for my patrons because of them. This is possible, guys. I promise you. Without them, I will be like, oh no, painting alone in my studio. And because of patrons, I am able to do all this stuff. Okay, so I have my bluish colors and then for the pattern remember to have your water your container of water to be cleaning your brush okay ah yeah I love the titanium white yeah I think it's one of the best and of course for me the best mar uh, brand ever is Amsterdam 
then Winsor and Newton. So I'm squeezing the color. This is a really, really happy color. Then the dark green is going to be my fallow green. Oops. And yeah, if you're an artist and you don't make a mess, <coughs> you're missing the fun part. Let me just grab my paper and clean my fingers. Remember to, <coughs> sorry, to use your apron because acrylics are very like hard to clean, okay? So now I wanna use a little bit of my open thinner with my two inches brush I'm going to spread <coughs> sorry for my voice I have a little allergies okay so now I want to start by adding my white so a straight white with no water hi Chrissy and I'm going to add white. Whatever you see the sun in the picture, make like a, a line like this. Then I wanna grab the maple's yellow and besides the white, And I'm going back and forth doing X and even also you can use your mop I love this brush and it's perfect for blending okay then I'm going to grab a little bit of my light blue A little bit close to the Naples color and then go back and now my mop brush just soft circles and I like to clean the brush in a piece of fabric or towel paper and then go back okay and the last color is going to be in the top my cobalt blue very solid blue I'm going to put aside a little bit my brush and I want to clean again the mop one hello Mr. Leonard and I'm going to be with the mop doing these circles To blend these two colors and maybe I'm going to be need to add more of the blue but I want to try first like this and I can see some of the bristles coming out but when you clean this type of brushes it's good just to like try to pull out of the excess of the bristles they are almost out like that you will avoid to have this type of accidents when you're painting so I'm not putting too much pressure and I think it's looking good so let's go to the button so the button is going to be green 
and I'm going to change my brush I want to add with no water I'm going to start adding the green I'm not using the belly I am using this part the tip of my brush then grab a little bit of your dark green and if you notice I didn't clean the brush I just move my cobalt blue So we are working the background before start painting the flowers. So I'm not going to be like washing. I want to keep moving all these colors very soft and gentle all directions and now when I clean my brush still is wet because we have the product in the bottom you can even use um, be careful that your brush need to be super clean so to avoid that I want to grab this is another mop brush okay so I want to grab a little bit of my Nipples yellow again and I need to add white as well now I'm going to try to clean as much as I can the mop brush and that's why it's good to have a different more than one not different more than one because like that you are not going to be like having issues okay let's see very soft and gentle I'm dragging the paint to the bottom because I want to have this light soft transparent color like blurry color ready to move forward okay so now that it is still like wet I'm going to put my brush in the water so with my finger 
I want to grab, oh, let me just clean my finger. With your clean finger. Hi, Bar. I hope you're feeling better. Hi, Lisa. Good to see you here. So I'm cleaning my finger. Clean finger. I'm adding first straight white and remember guys all this is still wet okay so now I'm going to have some of my yellow I don't want distraction so let me just move this here I have an extra palette use for the flowers like that we don't need to clean and I'm going to grab some of my yellow and I'm going to go first outside the the white of the Sun and then I'm going to come close okay I'm going to clean my finger grab more yellow And then come close a little bit of the white and we're going to leave it like that okay so because when you paint it start like getting dry if you keep adding paint then you are going to be peeling so now it's time to dry it and I'm going to come back I'm going to mute it, but I'm going to come back with volume. Okay, give me one second. here see I forgot sorry again again so I'm going to start adding uh, the base of the flowers again I'm going to be like adding 
the circles, but is, if you see the flowers are no circles, but kind of like a ovals and then the edge are, is like um, no straight. So I'm going to be adding the circles or ovals of all of them. Okay, that's what I'm going to be doing. And yes, I'm going to be editing this video. And I'm sorry again. Okay, so I'm using my Naftal Red and my Filbert number four. Can you hear us now? Can you hear me now? Hope you can hear me now, guys. Sorry for that. Yeah, thank you. Okay, so let's start to place the first uh, flower. That for me, my main flower, uh, no main flower, but the first flower is going to be this one, okay? So let's start by doing not exactly the shape of the flower, but at least an idea where this flower is going to be. I'm going to just a little bit of water in the tip of my brush. And um, the pattern of this type of the the these flowers who are not seen that you don't see it in the front that are facing the sun. The bottom part, I want you to make this two lines like this. Okay, we have our first one. Then let's keep moving. The next one is going to be here, but this one is going to be open. So Okay. No, Rita, este es un video nuevo y estamos haciéndolo en vivo. Entonces, lo que voy a hacer es hacer los subtítulos este fin de semana para todos ustedes. I don't know how to turn on the subtitles. I'm sorry, guys. I need to find a way. And as I am using, using this new uh, program, I don't want to mess with the video, but... I don't know if you guys are able to turn the double C caption. Rita, hay una forma ahí en YouTube que dice CC. A lo mejor se hace automático. Thank you for asking. Gracias por preguntar. The next flower is going to be here. And this is going to be my third, I want to say bigger flower. And remember when I am is everybody not just not just me when you're uh, working in the design of your painting it's good to use odd numbers Now I'm going to start with the same, the, the next side of the flowers, like a medium size. So again, I'm going to uh, make another three. So the first one is going to be here. And I can even make it different shapes. This, this one is going to be like this one, close. And this 
this is going to be this one is going to be open but i want to have like a different distance so i'm going to put it a little on the pattern to the pattern Okay, and we are missing the third one. I'm going to put it right here, more towards the top. And if you see, guys, I'm using the shape of my brush. It has rounded, and it's really good because you can, like, I, I want to say, you can even try like like stamping. I want to say stamping okay so those are my medium flowers now I want to paint the one who are close so let's do one here right. okay Rita sí y lo que puedes hacer es observar y a lo mejor también es una forma de, de seguir aprendiendo solo por observar y con los subtítulos refuerzas tu conocimiento gracias por venir so let's keep adding more And these that are close as well need to be different position, different sizes, different angles. Another one is one, two, three, four, and five. Now I'm going to be painting the small ones, and for that I want to go and grab my number one round number one sorry three rounds round number three i'm loading my brush with red again same red that we have been working and i'm going to be adding the tiny ones okay so i'm going to start adding one here and these tiny ones uh, all of them are going to be like more this effect so it's kind of like a triangle something like this I'm going to keep moving and even if later on I'm going to be adding grass and some of them are going to be behind and not very clear you're going to be able to see the colors and that's the idea small the flowers are the details are less bigger the details are more details of when you're painting them. And always remember guys that this is going to be just an idea how to do it and I'm sure you will come with a better design and different colors and very beautiful and I would like to see it I have a group in Facebook of painting and the name of this group is let's get creative so you're welcome to come and post your picture your final painting here so now what I'm going to be doing is with this, the same color that I have here, I'm going to add some water and now I want to add some of my cadmium yellow. And I want to grab a little bit of my cadmium yellow 
and the and my brush has already some of the red so by mixing it I am making any red more lightest like orange red orange okay and I'm going to leave my brush here and grab my filver and I'm going to load my filver and I'm going to start by uh, looking for my petals so I'm going to have one dark, one light, one dark, one light and here we have one in the front and we're going to come back and keep adding more um, dark colors and you guys I am using this part of my brush because I need to control the foldings so I want you to see this sometimes let me do it this sometimes I will go and do the complete stroke with the, the brush like this and sometimes I will use just the side part of the, the brush to make different type of foldings see this okay so let's keep working this I'm going to be using more my side of the brush also this and also this one okay so I'm going to change my brush with the small one my number three round and I'm going to be doing the same with the one who are first the tiny ones just some strokes and if you notice I am not like putting too much attention because here what you're looking for is to see the colors first the open ones and then the ones who are closed okay from the ones who are closed I want to add some in the top see that and I need to revisit that we did everything so now what I'm going to do with this red I have this red here so I'm going to put aside a little bit of this red and I want to grab a little bit of my darker green and red and green are complementary color guys so all depend the red that you use is a um, intense red that you're going to have at the end and if this is not looking good it's the red so let me move um, and to grab a little bit of my magenta that the magenta is like a, a deep red look at this So I want to grab a little bit of this red and mix it. And also permanent red is a good red too. Okay, so I'm going to grab a little bit of water and I'm going to bring my black. Looking for my black. Okay, I have here my black little bit of black and what what I'm going to be doing is adding the shadows a little bit of black adding the shadows then go back and keep working the highlights okay so this part I'm adding more black I'm going to clean my brush and I'm going to start adding the shadows so let's start with this one so the bottom part and then some in the dark the dark petals that we decide are like this this and this 
I want you to go on the top and just drag a little bit of paint. Clean your brush. And I'm going to change my brush for the filter. With a little bit of the water. And I am just moving the paint to the bottom. And this paint to the top. to grab again a little bit of more of the black or dark color and here I want to add in the button very gentle like this and this flower is open so I'm going to grab a little bit of my this is like a red brownish and I want to add the middle part Okay, you see this is uh, this petal is in front. So same color. Let's do it this one too. And this medium one too. And I'm going to move my brush. Change my brush. One. Let me just correct this one. Okay, let me some water, more black in the bottom. Yeah, flowers are a little tricky. You are not alone with this one. And this type of flowers uh, is more about the shadows and the lights than more like a definition. So I want you to see how I'm adding the color. Then I go back with my filver and I'm dragging the paint and my filver was clean. My filler sometimes I'm using the complete belly and sometimes just a side of the brush. Mm. You can even add more like foldings. Here we want to have a little shadow, so I'm going to back with the light. I don't want to, this is a medium and this is a dark, okay, the medium red, dark red, because we need to have shadows here. Uh, by adding this shadow, you are like pulling this petal more. So here we need another type of shadow. Okay, so let's work this one back, back and forth with my two brushes, dark color. Then clean my silver one. paint. You can use the filler one, also you can use a flat one, small flat one. Mm, 
then we're going to add more detail to each of the petals so but now it's like we're just giving and adding the shadows it's part of the stem and this is part of the stem a little more water now this one and this is a really small one so I'm going to start to be using my filver I'm going to be using the same number three A little bit of the dark color again And it's slow. This process process always is going to be slow. And not because you add one time means that you already have everything. Yeah, Lola and Canela and FedEx. And just we need to wait FedEx leave. With the same uh, dark color, let's work the next one. They're doing the, its job. okay I'm back FedEx left <laughs> so I'm still working the shadows so the small ones you need to add the shadows but this time is going to be less um, detail so let's start from the left to right the pattern is very important Oops, sorry. I want to just to move. Okay, I'm going to keep adding the color and muting.
Yes. So sound was off. So uh, because the dogs was uh, they were barking. So what I'm doing is just adding shadow, okay, to the flowers. So I'm going to put back this part and correct this here. And I'm going to add the picture again, like that you guys know where I am now. Yeah, I have two little dogs and when uh, FedEx is around, oh my God, guys. Cuando viene FedEx, los perros ladran mucho y me gusta hacer mute. So I'm going to be editing this, this uh, video. I'm going, and with the editing, you're going to hear my voice again and you're going to no hear my dogs sorry cuando lo edite quito los perros y hablo más but thank you so much for letting me know gracias por decirme ok so guys we have the first part of the dark area ok so what I'm going to be doing now clean your brush very well because we're going to go back with our lightest red oh thank you Yes, and, and I'm going to be editing this uh, weekend the video, so you can. It's going to stay now in, in YouTube, and you can watch it later. So now what I'm going to do is going back with the lightest, lightest uh, red that we have here, and I am adding more yellowish, my cadmium yellow, to make this like light. Now it's a light orange. If you see this type of flowers, oh, it doesn't bother you, Barbara. You're so sweet. Thank you. I know they, they are my little tiny ones that wants to protect, protect me. So I'm mixing uh, this, the red, that is the naphtol red, that is a red light, then with uh, my cadmium yellow because I'm going to start adding more light tone so I need to try it here yes it is good so I'm going to use the tip of my brush and I'm going to add some strokes to give more light into the petals so we're bringing more light okay use some strokes here and there You have two beagles. Oh my God, I um, love them. I love our puppies, but now everyone loves the dogs. So I need to just be aware that not everyone love the dogs and the barking. But thank you, thank you for letting me know. I feel better, guys. So if you see, guys, I'm just adding some strokes. And what is very important for you to do is to follow the direction of the petal. Okay? And these petals are important here to add the lightest part in this curve. And then I'm going to clean my brush and blend it. Do, 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 do here okay let me just move this color more here okay grab a little more and let's work this one so this part of the petal clean the paint and then drag the paint like this look at this so let's grab a little more and I'm going to be adding some light here look my brush here and when I start adding the light colors I like to correct my petals in the sense of if I lose some of the shapes when uh, then I start like okay so this is going to be like this okay so 
So when I start painting the medium flowers and the small flowers, everything is about more like a strokes. It's like don't feel like the need to do more, like more details on it. Like look, okay, and the tiny ones is going to be the same. more in the top of the pearls that in the bottom something like this in the top look at this Jerky, oh my god. You know, yeah, I'm sorry. Jerkies are like Lola is a jerky and Canela she is a Winnie Dog long hair. Daxon. Daxon? And they're loudy. They love to bark and but it's because they feel like protecting me. You know what I mean? So now I'm going to grab a little bit of my white. And with the white, let me just, if you notice, I didn't uh, clean my brush. What I wanna do is to recuperate the point of my brush and grab a little bit with the tip of my brush. And the sun is coming this way, right? So I want you to start adding some highlights, whatever you feel the flower will like a project more like color first and then the reflection of the light of the sun. I hope this makes, makes sense. So this part we need to be uh, working super slow. Yeah, my Georgie, she's cute, I love her. She all the time wants to be with me. So I need to just to let her know like, hey, you can stay here, I'm going to the bathroom. <laughs> so yeah, with a little bit of paint, not too much paint, okay? So back and forth. With a little bit of the paint. And I'm going to add a little highlight in this part and I'm not going to be blending it. I'm going to just leave it like this. Okay. So each light petal has different reflections. So you need to decide where and how much. Okay, I'm going to clean my brush and I'm going to drag the paint a little bit here. Even if you see the, the, the painting that I already did, it's different. The reflections are going to be different. Okay, a little bit here and there, see? Okay, let's keep moving. Next one. So the sun is here, so I need to this, like, this side of my petals, how big they're going to be. So by defining this, cleaning my brush, I can define more. I want you to see how I'm moving the, the white. So now the colors stay in the bottom, but you still can see it. Here we have a big, big light. I'm going to clean my brush. And as the bristles are a little wet, I am using this to move the white like this. 
a little bit of white and now this here and if you feel like oh it's too much white use your colors you have colors in your palette so go back and use all the color that you have in your palette until you feel oh this is ready okay so I keep adding my white and defining the petals and some highlights are going to stay with no blending like this one okay so let's work this one in my brush I'm going to drag the paint if you feel the paint is not moving just with the tip of your brush to be able to have a little bit of water to help you to move the paint okay and this type of flowers it has all these um, foldings A little bit of water to make white. Clean my brush. I'm just swapping a little bit this white because this white is more like a red it's not that white so I'm, I add some of the red okay now that I have red I don't want to waste the paint okay so then let's go to do the medium one so let me just clean and this part is everything is the same brush with the water to move the white doing this I'm like oh I find a petal oh I find another petal this 
this is very important the pearl who is in front that because it's going to give you the whole idea of the complete flower okay now we're going to do the small ones and the small ones again are going to be just some strokes we don't need to define just give like some areas of highlights like this this part need to be faster So the sun is here, the highlight is here, and the highlight is in the top, here, in the left. Here in the left. Too much. Okay, so now I want to go back, clean my brush, and I want to go back with my darker brown with water that I have it here because I want to define my last strokes of the shadows and this time again we're going to be like playing just some strokes to give some foldings okay to define better this petal I want to have it bigger and let me grab some red they start looking more like a flowers right so I'm going to go back with my black my darker red and my red to define better so I'm going to grab clean my brush and I'm gra getting, uh, grabbing a little bit of the red Some of the petals are like out in the sense that they are not the same side, so I'm trying to to keep that idea. Okay, keep adding. And the little ones you don't need to take too much time. Just the big one and the medium ones. I'm going to add some of the lactal red here and there, some strokes. Okay, so we're ready to keep moving and I'm going to use 
my liner to add some of the stems so I'm going to grab my black with water and I'm going to start adding some stems so I need to just to flip a little bit my paint just for this okay so let's start this one my water because I want to have more like the paint more like liquid and in the front too and then I'm pushing because I want to have the stem thicker in the pattern okay so now this this one so I want them in different directions I'm going to flip it a little bit again sorry for that more water to the black Push more here. It's time to use my glasses. some movement okay so now what I'm going to do I want to paint some like clothes you know like these ones who are clothes because we have plenty space here so I will figure out where is the best we have here space so let me just flip again my canvas okay the next one and with my number three round to be careful a little bit of water it's too thick 
Okay, we have the first one. So let me just go back and decide where it's going to be the next one. I'm gonna add one here and one here. Okay, so and flip it again. I'm going to use my other brush. I just I need to be careful where I put my hand. Water. Okay, I want to correct this stem. And the last one, we need the third one, but now I want facing the other side. Let's do it here. So it's going to come this way. Da -da -da -da. and right here perfect okay I use a three but you guys can add as many as you want okay so now what I'm going to be doing is drying it and then I'm going to come back because I need to keep um, adding more detail but now with before that let me just add some dots here in black this part need to be s like straight black but then I'm going to be adding some dots like this okay again some black here load it and some dots the only one I think here okay uh, I can see I miss one stem here oh, I need water if I don't have enough water when I'm doing these lines the paint gets stuck Now it's time to dry it. Okay, I'm back and now um, I want to uh, add some of the 
yellowish into the sun so for that I want to grab my flat brush I have here a little bit of the yellow and I'm going to start using a little, just a little bit of the paint and I'm going to be like dragging the paint like whatever I feel this like yellowish is moving but if you notice I just barely I touch the paint let me just grab again and now I want to go in the in the top whatever you feel like the sun is like changing the tone you know just a little bit just really a little bit and then load it in your canvas and go back like here this part maybe this part the top this part It's dry. I don't have water in my brush. Okay. Whatever you feel, the light of the sun is like touching. Just grab. When you feel it's ready, wet your brush clean it and this is still a little wet it's not wet we I think I clean with water but then I dry it but it still is a little damped my brush just to blend this part okay so now it's time to paint some of the grass for for the grass I have my fan brush and I have my dark dark green and my light green so I'm going to wet first with my light green load very well my brush and we're going to use another green as well but we're going to start with this light and then go back and forth back and forth so with this part of my, my brush I'm going to start like adding some grasses and again don't worry if you cover some of the flowers so something that i like to, to share with you guys is i'm going to paint here when you paint grass and maybe i want to just move this camera more this way because i want you to see that part i want you to see how i use this part of my brush first load very well your brush with the paint okay and the paint has water so see how good loaded the brush is and then I want you to barely touch and move the same I start in the same direction look at this okay then start a new bunch load your brush be careful the amount of water because you want to have thin See? you want to have also long brush long like grasses here let me just move more this part 
Then you can use this part of the, the belly. And then go back. And look how I'm moving the brush. going to go back and I'm going to use the dark green that we have here but I'm going to be mixing it with my light green and water and I'm going to be adding more of that light green greenish yellow in the color I need to add more water okay more water is very thick so I, I want to have less paint so I'm going to move my paint in this part you want loaded your brush but you want to see as well the shape of the bristles okay so there you go so I'm going to start again grab my darker green load my brush okay so we need to keep moving Adding this green. But if you notice, I'm doing less strokes now. But it's still using this movement. I don't know if you can see my hand. then this is the bottom little tiny strokes now I'm going to grab a little bit of my black and add black into this mixed Okay, and again, more black. I think this is better, this mix is better. the button and move it we're almost done with the grass guys so 
to the front part where the grass now is coming. Okay, with the back part of your brush, I want you to add some strokes, the shape of a grass. So pushing the paint, I'm pushing the paint. Now I can see through some of the flowers that are in the back. All directions, okay? Okay, so this part is done. And now I wanna add some of the white clean my brush very very well and for this I want to use a very thin thin brush you can use your liner let's try to clean first my liner and we're going to use a straight white we're going to uh, the rays of the Sun and some of the white dots Okay, we have here white. Sorry. Okay, so I'm adding white to my liner or script because I want to have a very soft white here. Oh my god, they're poor gears are so desperate. Let me just... Okay, give me just one second, okay? Okay, was my husband is there, so I just go inside. Poor dogs are freaking out. Okay, so I have here my white. I load my brush very nice and well. So I'm going to start adding some of the rays. So for that, I want to take out this picture and my palette. Okay. Mm -hmm. Like that I can be able to move. So the thing is that the white need to be transparent, very soft. So by adding by adding more water is a way to do it. So first I'm going to do the center of my zone. Okay, and one ray, and then you can use your finger or we can use a clean brush just to soft the line. Okay, this, this is a dry brush. Okay. Okay, so this is how I'm going to be doing it, and you just
So yes, this is the technique. Add your line and then soft the line. With white and your white must have more water than paint. So I need to be flipping the picture. with the tip of my brush and the rays need to have different directions and let The rays are more into the bottom than into the top. Okay, so now I don't know if you're going to be able to see it, but the picture you will see it. Let me just do as put the see. Okay. So now with the same white that we have before and with my round brush number three and the bottom part I'm going to load my brush with white and this time the white can be like thicker and I'm going to do some like little dots of the reflection of the sun. load my brush with the white and just find some spot that you feel like you know here is a good a good one first I try to find the ones that are in the background and now I'm going to use this part of my brush to control more the circle okay so you can use the bottom part or your bristles thick white then just adding random little dots here and there thick 
plastic white. Have fun with this part of the painting. <laughs> so now I'm going to clean my brush and I'm going to again grab some white and I'm going to go inside of my flowers. doing and painting tiny dots I mean some beans yes beautiful thank you some beans So tiny, tiny white dots here. This part, I don't need to say what I'm doing, that's why I'm a little quiet. <laughs> so what you're going to do now, you're going to clean your brush and grab a little bit of water and put water into the white let me show you see how liquid the white it is and just recuperate the point of the brush and grab just the tip and I want you to add a highlight into the left as much as you can here, like for instance, this here in the top. Here is in the right, left, in the left. So in the left. Here in the left, and even here we can see some highlights here. So this is the perfect time for you guys just to correct your highlights. Okay. Like for instance here, I'm adding like thick white. But here, I am adding more like watery white. Left. Here in the top. The left. Here, with the tip of your brush, I want you to do some light little strokes. Then, this part need to be here in the top again, this in the right side. Here are some little dots 
little strokes here in my right side as well here just some strokes of the reflection okay and let's revisit what we're missing time to clean so I'm going to add straight white here and then with my finger okay so I think that's it so the idea guys and uh, when I say time to clean the idea when you're cleaning your paint and to revisit each part like for me it's going to be my flowers so it's like okay what do i need to be adding oh here we're missing the little dots here what we're missing always is really good when you feel like oh i'm done go and grab a coffee or a tea or whatever leave the paint alone and then a couple hours after come back and i promise you you will find things that you didn't see it before that need your attention okay so let me check your comments before we leave just to be sure that you guys um doesn't have something to to ask me okay one more second okay let me check on your comments and let me off this and move these paints okay and have the paint alone so i'm going to show you the two paint paints aside so this is the one that i did uh, like i want to say a week ago two weeks ago and this is from today so you maybe you can see the some of the different details like for instance the colors change but this is a final idea okay so thank you so much for coming today guys i really appreciate all of you i love my patrons thank you so much for patrons for coming and support me and if you are here and you are not my patron and you would like to check my patron please feel free to check this link here you will find a bunch of information about my patron what i do every month what we do with the girls and there is so much fun here and if you would like to check more tutorials watercolor or acrylics please come over and visit my website this is my website I have a bunch of videos for you guys you some of them free to watch and another ones are tip to own so yes uh, we have so much thing that we can be doing together again thank you so much for coming and remember that every week Thursdays I am doing a video tutorial video here in YouTube and I'm sharing or watercolor or acrylic if uh, you would like to be part of uh, patreon you have the link if you are not a subscriber in my channel please subscribe to my channel and like my video that's uh, a way that you can help me to to keep you know producing this type of tutorial again thank you so much guys thank you for coming and if you decide to paint it uh, come over to my facebook group and share with me your final piece of art and if you need my advice inside the group you can leave your comment and question and i will be more than happy to give you my feedback or share with with you more tips thank you so much guys and have a good good thursday love you all have a good one bye bye guys